Hello everyone, this is Kai Tiran, also known as the most delinquent Talk To Me Tuesday video vlogger ever in the history of Talk To Me Tuesday. Finally recording my uh, next Talk To Me Tuesday. And this uh, time it's mostly about spinning, which is what I've been doing pretty much non-stop. So I'm going to blame that for not having recorded anything uh, for a while. Um, I have a couple of little projects uh, before I show you all the spinning, but really it's mostly all about spinning. Uh, the first one I'm going to show you is this. It's what I'm calling my uh, sunburst, uh, Slytherin s sunburst hat. It's a very simple colorwork pattern that I've designed myself. Uh, I'm having the pattern test knit at the moment, and then I will be putting it up um, in my live journal, and I'll probably have a link to that with this today. But um, I gave it to Elvie because she liked wearing it so much, so I decided that it obviously had to be hers. So, my Slytherin hat. Um, the next thing I'm going to show you is this teeny tiny little camera case. Um, it's felted, obviously you can kind of see that. Um, I just joined a group on Ravelry called Free Pattern Testers, and what it is is when someone designs a pattern, like I just did with my sunburst hat, you can post it there and ask for people to test knit it for you, or crochet. It's a knit and crochet. I haven't seen any weaving, but um, to get people to test it out and find any errors that you may have. So I did this little uh, camera case, which is really and I actually recommend the pattern quite a bit. It was really easy to do and a lot of fun. Um, the next project that I'm going to show you is my Talk To Me Tuesday uh, Sisterhood of the Traveling Project project. These are all the strips that I got from everyone and I made them into a little bag. Uh, the handles are just some ribbon that I sewed on. Um, but there's everybody's strips in here. Um, some on the sides too. Um, I thought came together really, really well. I used the kind of dark gray to sew it together. You can see that gray right there. Um, and I thought that really helped to pull the different colors together, which I wasn't quite sure if they were going to go very well when I was looking at all the strips and deciding to decide what I was going to do. But it looks really neat, I think. Um, the next project I'm going to show you is uh, spinning. We're going to start with um, the roving that I have recently gotten. Um, this right here um, is a delicious alpaca wool blend. It's kind of a very light uh, brown kind of color. It's a little bit hard to see. It's not quite as gray as I think it will probably come looking in the video. And I have two balls of that. I think these are about eight ounces of those. And these are from a little farm, Riversley Farm on 125 in New Hampshire, right where I live. Um, so if you're in the area, I totally recommend them. I know people that uh, work with them a lot and it's so soft, this alpaca stuff, gorgeous. Um, the next one I want to show you is another alpaca and wool blend. Um, this one, if you can see it, it's freaking huge. It's a pound of roving. It is bigger than my head. See? Bigger than my head. This came from my mom and dad. They went on vacation in Utah to the Cunnington Farms, and uh, dad saw roving there, and he said, hey, isn't this what, you know, daughter uses? Shouldn't we get her some? So... They sent me an entire pound of alpaca. It is too awesome. I'm wicked excited. Um, let's see. I also got some roving yesterday. I went with um, Aslak, who is not a Talk To Me Tuesday person yet, but she picked up a fiber craft uh, yesterday. So maybe she will start doing them. Hint, hint, hint. And I got roving. Lots of roving. <laughs> um this first kind um there's this two bags of each because they were each four ounces and i wanted to have enough to spin a reasonable amount this first one it's kind of a gray blue purpley heathered type blend it's super wash merino and you can't really see the color there so this will be featured in another video i promise to record another one when i show you what it spins up like and then there's this other one which is a little it's still pretty hard to see. It's a deep royal purple, and again, it's a super wash merino, so I'm wicked excited. I have about eight ounces of each of the colors to work with. Um, let's see. Oh, this one's an older roving. I picked it up right off after I got my spinning wheel, and it is a merino and tussa silk blend, which is beautiful. It's kind of a robin's egg blue with some purplish red and white and oh my god it's gorgeous i got it from mine's eye yarns um which is down in cambridge i believe um down in boston and i haven't touched it yet because i'm not quite ready for merino and silk i don't think but 
at some point, this is going to be, like, gorgeous yarn. Um, on the yarn crawl that I went on recently that I won that awesome grand prize for, um, which was a delirious amount of uh, yarn and all kinds of good stuff, which I'll probably show you in another Talk to Me Tuesday later, I got some black roving. It's to go with a rainbow merino that I started spinning on my spindle because um, I thought that a black would go really well with these rainbow color repeats and uh, kind of make them pop. So I have two little blacks. Um, these are some I got on Etsy. Um, this is a, it's Corydale, um, and it's dyed, obviously, because sheep don't come in rainbow colors, at least not where I'm from. Um, it is about two, about three ounces, and it came from Zauer's Zug on Etsy, which I'll put the link up to, um, because it's really cool, and I really liked it. And this is the other one that I got from her, another rainbow, neon rainbow kind of spinny mix, which, um, again, is Corydale, and so I'll show you those when they get spun up. This is another one I got on the yarn crawl. This is Frabulous Fibers, uh, hand-dyed merino. Ah, uh, you can see the label. There we go, sort of. Um, it's super soft and squishy, and it's kind of orange and red, and the colors are so not coming out the way they look um, in this video. So uh, maybe I'll link to some pictures or something so you can see that. Let's see what else. Um, well, with all of the uh, spinning I've been doing, um, obviously I'll show you some of the yarn because that's what you get from spinning. Um, let's see. The first one is one that I spun on my uh, drop spindle. Um, it's one of my really early ones. I spun this way. I plied it with a uh, kind of gold crochet cotton, and I really kind of liked the way that uh, looked and turned out. That's one of the really early. And this one is another one that was done half on the drop spindle, but it was plied on my spinning wheel. And as you can kind of see, it's not plied very well. This is one of my really early ones. Um, I hadn't quite got it down yet. Um, this is another one. This is my kind of uh, lumpy blues. I didn't pre-draft very well. This is what happens when you don't pre-draft. You get this kind of lumpy art yarn type looking thing. There's sections of it are really well plied and some of them are really over and under. And But it's kind of funky. I don't know what it'll be. Maybe it'll be a bag and all felted or something. But I like that one, even though it's not quite uh, as well done. This one, again, um, didn't draft it as well as I could have. It came from the Exeter Fiber Fest. It was uh, some mystery bats with wool and a little bit of silk and all kinds of other stuff. Um, I really like this one. I really like most of them. There's only one or two that I didn't think I did very well. This one is the one that uh, my friend Gnome Napper, who has a shop on Etsy, it's Dying For You, and I'll put that link in too. She's got amazing roving. She hand paints, uh, hand dyes. And it's gorgeous and fantastic. Um, she called this one the Kiteran, so she sent one to me when I got started spinning. And oh, it spins up like a dream. Um, I don't know if you can see the colors as well as I hope you can, but it is really, really nice. So um, this one's my Harry Dresden hand spun. It's a mystery wool blend that I got at Coveted Yarns in Gloucester. This was also one that I got on the uh, yarn crawl. Um, and I really like it. I spun up a ton of it because um, I'm getting pretty good at spinning fairly thin. So this is kind of a, a DK fingering weight. So I'm getting much better. Some of these early ones were pretty bulky. This one's uh, less. This one, um, it's hard to see the colors, but there's the red and green. I'm calling it the Robin Hood hand spun. Um, and this is where I really got the hang of the plying. And I'll put it up close to see if you can see it. It's a little fuzzy. But the plying job on this um, is much better. It's much more even. I'm really quite pleased with it. And with this, um, I am knitting my very first lace shawl. Um, it's going to be hard to see. And I'm running out of time. Um, I talked to you Tuesday, so this is probably the last thing I'm going to show you. But it's a uh, hand spun, uh, and it's lace shawl. It's got these little diamonds along the edge and a stockinette main part of the body. Um, I'm almost done the increase rounds, um, and here it is. I will have to do uh, another Talk to Me Tuesday because I have things left over, and maybe I'll try and record another one and show you some more stuff. But anyway, so that's me, spinning, 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 and knitting my little shawl, um, which I decided not to wait until the house cup started because I'm really smart. But anyway, uh, that's what I've been up to, uh, so happy talking to you. Talk to you later.